Hi, I'm Doug Wolf, customer service representative for the Large Boat Program. It includes the 345, the 350, and the 370. We're on the 370 outrage right now, and we're going to be dealing a little bit with the windlass. Lourdes and I have already done a how-to video on how to operate the windlass correctly, how to use the boat to help pull the anchor up so you don't overstress the windlass. And today we're going to be specifically talking about the windlass and how to be safe using the windlass. It's a very powerful tool uh, and very useful, but very dangerous if not used correctly. This is the windlass, standard on all 345, 370s, and 350s. It's a quick brand. It's hidden nicely under this enclosed hatch, which keeps everything somewhat dry and out of the way. It makes for a nice transition. This is the windlass handle. This is used when the windlass, for whatever reason, isn't working. Whether it's a switch or the windlass itself, you can loosen this clutch and actually uh, winch it up manually if you need to do that. It's a safety mechanism. You really don't ever need it, but it's there in case you do. It tucks nicely out of the way. There's a handheld remote with simple up and down operations. We'll go over that in just a minute. A lanyard, of course, that needs to be in place when the windlass is in the up position. When you're getting ready to use, use the windlass and you are heading over your favorite fishing spot or wherever the case may be, you want to come up here, open the hatch, release the lanyard, which is attached to the anchor. There's also an orange handle here that needs to be pulled forward. That allows the anchor to freewheel. Now when you lower the anchor, you simply push the button and it deploys the anchor. You can also do this at the helm area, but it's nice to be up here being able to monitor what's really going on with the windlass. You lower the anchor to the desired depth till you feel like you're comfortable and the boat's held secure. When pulling up the anchor, which we described in the other video, you simply pull the boat up to it while you're retrieving the anchor. Now when you see the anchor to start to come through the hole, you kind of want to bump it as not to overstress the fiberglass and the anchor. It's up, it's tight, it's in its locked position. Then you certainly want to install the lanyard. Now sometimes the lanyard's a little bit shorter and it can't quite reach all the way out to the end. Some of the earlier models simply can do it to the chain. In this case, the lanyard does reach all the way to the hole. It's locked in place and this orange tab is critical. This simply pulls back and what that does is even if you forget the lanyard or the lanyard breaks or you don't install it correctly onto the anchor, it won't allow it won't allow it to go down. It's locked, it's locked in its position. That's something windless or uh, quick installs. It comes up, but it won't go down. Still as a backup feature, you want to install the lanyard. And, and it's really that, that's all there is to it. Keep your fingers away from this mechanism. This little finger keeps tension on the chain so it rides along the windless winch correctly and feeds it down into the anchor locker. There's also a freshwater wash down to wash your anchor, anchor road and whatnot. That's really it. This is the most, one of the most critical components of the windlass. I've seen some people actually take these off completely because they don't know what they're looking at. They don't know how it works. They just think that it won't go down so there must be something wrong with it. If you look closely here, you can see how it works. You know, it's just a simple mechanism that pulls out and locks the anchor, locks the mechanism open. When it's in the close position, anchor is locked and it's good to go. Thank you. If you have any questions, you can call customer service. Ask for Doug. Thank you.